find the coordinates of point B such that AB vector equals A vector, given that A has coordinates negative 1, 5, and A vector is position vector with its endpoints at 1, negative 3. Let's try to understand this problem first. So here we have a point A and we have another point B. Now the coordinates of point A is given to us, that's negative 1, 5. And coordinates of point B, we don't have it here. We have to find its value. Well, we're going to assume it's x, y. Now let's join point A and point B with the help of a directed line segment going from A to B. So here it's given that AB vector corresponds to A vector. And it's also the vector A is a position vector of another vector whose endpoints are at 1, negative 3. So that means we have another vector such that its endpoint is going to have the coordinates 1, negative 3. So using this information, we need to find out the coordinates of the endpoint B. Okay, so let us begin. So we'll first assume that the coordinates of point B be x, y. And we're going to also consider two more points. We're going to consider O to be the origin, O be the origin, and the point P, and the point P having the coordinates, having coordinates, this is going to be the point P, having coordinates 1, comma, negative 3. Having coordinates 1, comma, negative 3. Now, it's also given here in the problem that uh, this is our OP vector, that OP vector is going to be equals to AB vector. Okay, now what is OP vector? Let's try to find out OP vector. So here we have the coordinates of the origin, that's 0, 0. So, well, we'll take, we'll take the difference of the x coordinate, multiply it with i cap, and then add it to the difference of the y coordinate, multiply it with g cap. To find out the difference of the x coordinate of the vector OP, we have to consider the x coordinate of the endpoint of OP vector, which is P. So the x coordinate is 1, so we'll take 1, and from it subtract the x coordinate of the initial point. So it's 0. So we have 1 minus 0 times i cap. Similarly, to find out the y coordinate, We'll take the y-coordinate of the endpoint, that's negative 3, and from here subtract the y-coordinate of the origin, so that's 0. This is going to be equals to AB vector. Since the endpoint is the point B and the initial point is point A, so we can represent it as x minus negative 1, so we get x plus 1, multiply to i cap, add it to y minus 5 times j cap. Let's further simplify, we're going to get i cap minus 3 j cap, equals to x plus 1 times i cap added to y minus 5 times j cap. Right, so here we can compare both sides and that's going to give us x plus 1 equals to 1 and we have y minus 5 equals to negative 3. So let's for the, solve for the values of x and y. So this implies x is going to be equals to 0 and y is going to be equals to so thus, we have successfully obtained the coordinates of the point B. The coordinates, the coordinates of B are 0, 